about 48 hours ago, the Security Council, in an emergency session, determined that the armed invasion of the Republic of Korea by armed forces from Northern Korea constituted a breach of the peace. The Republic of Korea has appealed to the United Nations for protection. I am happy and proud to report that the United States is prepared as a loyal member of the United Nations to furnish assistance to the Republic of Korea. You have just heard Mr. Warren Austin, United States Delegate to the United Nations. Bulletin, the Defense Department has just announced that all men from 19 to 26 must be screened for drafting immediately. 19 to 26? Start sweating, Junior. That means you. Not me, kid. I'm in an essential industry. Kid him. Selling girdles. That's essential? Yeah, just ask your old lady how essential it is. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Oh, just take it easy and lose weight. I'm not ready for you. They'll know where to find you. I'm not gonna get drafted. That's essential. Now, where have I heard that line before? They can't draft a man when he's already enlisted. Oh, relax. Don't let those red, white, and blue corpuscles rush to your head. Any objections? No, not at all. Maybe the recruiting office will give you a gold cup for being the first guy to enlist. Hey, son. What's that boy's name? Yeah? Randy Smith. Hello, this is Kingston. Give me a rewrite. Marty, here's something with local color. Give it a lot of schmaltz. This is the head. Andrew Smith, first Billing Falls boy to enlist. Yeah, that's right, Andrew Smith. Andy! Oh, Andy! Oh, hi. Oh, darling, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't I tell you what? Oh, I'm so proud of you. Um, wait, wait, now, would you mind telling me what this is all about? Oh, don't be so modest. Everybody in town knows. Everybody in town knows what? You haven't seen the papers yet. Here, right on the front page. Look, you have more space than MacArthur. Andrew Smith, first Billings Falls boy to enlist in the Army. Hmm? Um, <clears throat> Peg, you know, about this item here, I, I, I don't quite know what to say. You don't have to say a thing, dear. What you did today speaks for itself. It does? Mm -hmm. In a way, I'm glad it happened like this. If I had known you were going to enlist, I might have tried to stop you. Well, um, if, if you feel that way about it, I suppose I could still get out of it. You sound as if you're sorry for what you did. Me? Sorry? Well, I'm so happy I could turn cartwheels. Um, look, Peg, uh, there, there, there's something I think maybe I'd better tell you. I know it. I've been thinking about it, too. You have? A lot of people think war marriages are foolish and hasty. I know we can make it go of ours. Do you still want to marry me? Want to... Are you kidding? Well, how do you like that? I've been after the girl for three years, and it takes a war to make her say yes. Well, aren't you going to kiss me? Aren't I? 